I did some reorganizing. I put all of my drops up there and then these are all the yarn that I need to untangle but I don't want to do it right now so I put them in these little bags and then some extra scraps that I don't know what to do with and down here we have my finished pieces I put a little lavender pouch back there to keep the bugs away and then it smells so nice in here then yeah those are my finished objects and then down here are some more finished pieces um, that one I need to wash because I wore it out but these are clean and then I put my Karen Blossom Cakes here she looks absolutely stunning and then my extra skein of Norokari some more paint box yarn and then in this box this box is just full of acrylic yarn most of them I got for Christmas last year and then also some yarn like these are the yarn that I bought to make gifts for other people and then I don't really know what to do with them right now maybe more gifts this year I don't know and then up here my little card thank you my sister for the sponsorship I have my yarn for an ongoing project and then here is just like almost a finished piece but like I just need to add the eyelid closure to my vest my web here and then um, here is just yarn for my ongoing project as well and then down here uh, all the yarn that I recently got and then up here are my two webs that I want to finish this month my goal for August is to finish these two pieces before I start another sweater or cardigan so <laughs> this one the body is pretty much done I started the ribbing last night just one roll but I will finish the ribbing and then I will do the knitted button band before I start the sleeves and then this one I just cast it off and then I was trying to weave in the ends but it got a little crazy <laughs> so I stopped but I will try to weave in the ends before I start the sleeves as well so those two before I start any new sweaters or cardigans and then this shelf right here I didn't really touch it because it's already you know cute and organized um, this is a little basket that I put my yarn up for the projects that I'm about to start and then these are my oh, it's taking everything in me right now to not cast this on I want to make a little cropped cardigan with my these are my Noro Ito but I need to finish the other two first so I'll come back I'll come back and then just my cotton yarn the yarn for my surprise house blanket that I haven't touched in a while <laughs> and then down here are just my fall collection yesterday and then I washed and blocked it and I'm really happy with how it turned out it's so soft the yarn is so soft and stretchy a little too stretchy <laughs> to the point that it stretches out the front and the back panel so now it's like all the way out here <laughs> so like it makes this gap here really big but I feel like that's normal right that's normal for like shrugs and boleros but yeah, um, I just think I made the front and the back pieces too wide. I didn't intend it to be like off the shoulder, but because the yarn is so stretchy, um, it's off the shoulder. I guess that's normal with merino, like animal fibers in general. Maybe I'm just so used to using cotton yarn. This is the loops and threads 
Lux Merino. It's acrylic and merino blend. I really like it. I really like this yarn. It's super soft, super lightweight. It's number three DK weight. I used my 4mm hook to make this little piece and yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, this like the gaps being a little too big. Oh, maybe I can just close it, huh? But then it would look like kind of funny, no? Anyway, um, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's uh, not a big deal for me to weave in the ends. So that's first thing done. And then my goal for today, my goal for today, I really want to finish my, I really want to finish the ribbing on my cardigan. Um, I did get quite a lot done. I want to finish this and then I'll cast it off. Then I'm going to add the closure on my vest as well. That's two things I want to get done today. I'm trying to finish a lot of whips this month uh, in August. This is the first one that I wanted to finish and then these two pieces and then my Tweety striped sweater and also i still have my crochet backless top that i want to finish uh, this month not this week okay that's a little too unrealistic but um yeah i'm just trying to finish a lot of pieces that i start before august i don't think there's anything wrong with having so many whips at the same time because i'm the type of person that get bored very easily so i like to switch things up when i get bored of one project and then i have something else available to me to work on but it does get a little overwhelming like it's getting overwhelming right now i can be pretty impulsive i would want to start projects left and right so i made a little rewarding system for myself this only applies to bigger projects like cardigan and sweaters okay i will only cast on another sweater or cardigan after i finish these two sweater and cardigan the back of my mind i know like oh my god i have so many things that i need to finish i have like everything is all over the place that's why i get a little anxious so trying to be nice to myself and then finish what i have first and then start a new project a little tip when you get a little overwhelmed just write down the tasks for the day try to pick like one or two things that i really want to get it done on that day and then i'll try to do it like this i did finish my strap really proud of myself really happy that i did that and then yeah today is binding off my cardigan and then adding the closure onto my vest i'll try to get these done today and then i'll catch you guys later Binding off. It took way longer than I expected. As you can see, it's already nighttime, but it looks really nice. Um, there's some parts like this part towards the end that would have looked nicer if the yarn was the same color, but that's okay. That's fine. Like down here, it looks really good. But I did mess up. I think I dropped like two stitches along the way, so I kind of just took. Uh, scrap yarn and then I kind of just went in and connected two stitches together um, I don't think you can really tell 
I mean this one you can because it's a different color but here looks okay but yeah she's off the needles um, gonna find a day to do the double knitting and then start the sleeves I'm excited Crochet. I mean, it's kind of crochet related, but gosh, 1989 Taylor's version. I stayed up last night to watch the announcement because we saw it coming. We saw it coming. So this morning when I woke up, I made this little blue headband. It's 1989 Taylor's version blue from now on. So, and I also have like a tank top that matches. I mean, it's light blue. <laughs> It's just like a normal color, but like sweeties, we claim it. So, we all know I got this yarn to make the pie camisole, the easy camera, you know? But lately I've been thinking about this top right here, right? I saw this on Handmade by Florence podcast Instagram like a while ago, like she talks about it a lot. And I don't know, I'm kind of vibing with this. I kind of like it. And I feel like I'll wear it more. I would wear it more than the other one. So I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I was like working on my crochet top and then I got distracted and then I started making a swatch. That's how it is. That's how <gasps> messy it is right now. But I'm vibing with this. I think I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> 